a C twenty three the Yanan petition. This is a request to amend an existing conditional use for a plant development continue as a single family home with dog kennel training and doggy daycare facility, including a grooming salon and a dog pet supply shop. Uh, conditional use to increase to total permitted dogs allowed on the property to one fifty dogs. Conditional use to allow for foster care and act as an adoption location for local rescues and a conditional use to allow for low cost vaccination clinics. This is a Winfield Township petition. Uh, the matter was published in the Daily Herald on September 1, uh, 2021. Um, and I have no objections from uh, or comments from DUDOT, Health Department, Stormwater, Public Works, and external entities, uh, no comments received, uh, or no objections from City of West Chicago, City of Warrenville, Winfield Township, and the Township of Iowa. Uh, same with West Chicago Fire, School District 33, and the Forest Reserve District. Um, I have received a petition in opposition, which will enter into our record signed by a number of presumably neighbors. <clears throat> the record should reflect that the petitioner is not here, so we'll take a short recess. I will say before we take a recess that uh, in the past um, many months, it's been our custom to limit our hearings to one hour. This may be a relatively complicated case. I don't know if we'll finish tonight. I think um, the rules from the Attorney General have expired. No substitute rules concerning the conduct of these uh, public hearings have been uh, offered in uh, replacement, but I'm going to continue to stick to a time limitation. I don't think that We'll do a one hour limitation tonight, but I'm going to uh, call the meeting, adjourn the meeting at no later than 7.30 tonight. And we'll see what that means in terms of uh, <clears throat> whether we're required to have a follow up hearing. Uh, so with that, let's uh, take a recess and uh, wait for the petitioner to arrive. Oh, so. Petitioner has arrived. I've read the petition into the record um, and uh, various comments. I haven't introduced any exhibits. I'd like, I understand you, you two are the petitioners. That's correct. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Joe. Last name is Yannon, Y A N A N. Are you the attorney for the petitioner? Um, not an attorney, sir. Just a business owner, property owner. And that's my wife, Kelly, who's also a property owner and business owner. Okay. Um, well, would you raise your hand and be sworn in, please? We just saw the slur from the accessory about to give this cause in our hearing to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, help you back. So, uh, this is an amendment to a case that was heard in 2010. In that case, we had I don't know, two or three public hearings, um, and the transcripts of those public hearings are available for board members if you care to see them. Um, I don't know how many hearings we'll have, but I, I've already indicated that tonight we will conclude that no later than 7.30. Uh, you were sworn in, do you have exhibits? Um, I do, I, I have a packet that uh, I'll be handed out for each of you. Petitioner's exhibit one. You have a survey of the property. We take, here's what we need. We need a survey and a site plan. If there's no changes proposed, uh, the survey and the site plan, plan can be combined. That will be exhibit number one. If you don't have it, then this, whatever this is, will be group exhibit two. What is this? What is this? It, inside this packet is the site plans, is the surveys, the ALTA survey um, that we've talked about in regards to this report. 
Well, let's uh, conform to our standard practice and take, where's the survey? Uh, if you go to, Plan of survey on page eight this is the plan of survey, and then we also have an ultra survey on page nine. What's the difference between the plan of survey and the ALTA survey? Um, ALTA is a little bit more, uh, we get yeah. more rules, but it's, ideally it's the same thing. Yeah, I know. I know what an ALTA survey is. Sorry. Why isn't this an ALTA survey? This is an ALTA survey. Okay, so we'll take your survey as petitioner's exhibit number one. And then all of the rest will be petitioner's group exhibit two. Yeah. Okay, any additional documents that you need to submit to the board? We're not accepting uh, documents uh, physically. We, our, our COVID rules are to submit all documents in advance of the hearing electronically, but we'll make an exception and take items so that we can proceed. Uh, in the back, there are uh, several documents that we've included, which were recommendations from uh, different, uh, I call them summer rescues. We have uh, letters uh, of recommendation from a neighbor that's directly to the left side of the property. Um, I apologize for not following the formality of everything electronically. I do have electronic and can email it to you if you wish. Um, no, we, we have this now, so I'm just talking about any other. Yeah, I, I don't. It, all of this was put together with the idea of a presentation to be able to kind of walk through why we want to do what we want to do. So I, I but some of, several of the items that you asked for were in here, um, as well as uh, additional information. So um, I can go through and mark which pages we can use as, as exhibits uh, or items that to be added. Are you? I don't understand what you're trying to tell us. Are you saying that your presentation is in written form? We need, to, uh, or we need your presentation to be done for us. You can refer to these exhibits to supplement your oral testimony if you want. My, my oral testimony will, will occur. This is uh, a document that I'm going to follow for that oral presentation. Members okay. um, of the board, I appreciate your time for being here this evening. Um, you've already found out that this, uh, my name is Joe Yen, and this is Kelly Yen, and my wife. We are the owners of the property located at 29W516 um, Wilson Street uh, in Unincorporated, West Chicago, Illinois. Um, we both lived in this area for 20 years plus, um, and we've retired from our professional careers to do this, which is to, um, to take care of dogs on our property um, and to rescue pups when we can. It's probably the two primary things that we do while we're on the property. We've been operating under the special use permit that was uh, done back in 2010 that you guys have already referenced. And um, because of this connection with our human and canine com community, we, we feel that we have um, more of a desire to help, especially because of COVID and what it's done to this community and to the dog community as a whole that we want to propose some changes to the special use permit that we currently operate under. Um, the things that are happening right now in our community because of COVID during 2020, there was a record number of dogs that were adopted during that year. As a result of those adoptions, most of those people are now looking for dog care. At the same time that's happening, we have a reduction in the amount of facilities that are available for people to go to. Just this year alone, I had several clients in my parking lot crying because they had nobody to go to, no place to take their pub, and they were in crisis situations, funerals, going out of town, plans. So we feel that this is a, a situation where we need more space and more availability on the property in our current situation. 
Also, the property has been the same for several years, and we'd like to update those buildings that we operate out of by expanding their size and becoming more uh, similar to what other businesses that provide these services to their community look like. So after going through that, um, you can see uh, that's really what we're trying to do. We went through the conditional use section 37-1413 step by step with the different questions that may come up or that would be a situation that we would have to address because of the things that we want to change on the property and uh, impair adequate supply of light or air based on the facility and where the buildings are located in proximity on the, on the property. Um, I can't see where we would impair anything of that type in number one. Uh, at number two, increase a hazard from fire or other dangers to said property. Um, we currently have a fire alarm system that's in there. We're looking at upgrading it with the changes that we want to do. Diminish the value of the land and the buildings in the vicinity or uh, of the proposed area. Um, the, the value I can only see being increased with the improvements that we're talking about making. Conditional use, unduly increased traffic and congestion in uh, public streets and highways. Um, to date, we've never had a, a, a congestion problem. There's never been a backup or lines of cars. Um, our proximity to Route 59 is less than 200 yards away from our driveway where the, the property uh, starts. And therefore we're right off a of main thoroughfare. We don't go through a specific neighborhood or a cul-de-sac of any kind. Go to the next page, uh, number five, increase the potential for flood damages to adjacent property. Um, the changes that we're proposing would, would not be close enough to an adjacent property where it would cause any of that flooding. Incur additional public expense for fire protection, rescue, or relief. Um, in the four years that we've operated, we have not had, I think we had one call in four years. And I met them at the beginning of the driveway and said we were okay. We live on the property. So since we live on the property 24 seven, if something does happen, we're able to address it quickly. Incur additional public expense for uh, that number seven was otherwise impair the public health safety comfort, morals, general welfare, and the inhabitants to Page County, nor will it otherwise create a nuisance. Um, the improvements that we've already made on the property, um, I believe have increased the comfort and safety of the general welfare of our neighbors, as well as the inhabitants of DuPage County. We put, a sound, we put soundproofing in, in the buildings where we operate to reduce the noise level to our neighbors. Uh, we chose to put up solid white vinyl fencing to reduce the sound impact to our neighbors, as well as create a safe environment for the pups that are staying with us. We're always looking at ways that we can improve the look of the property itself to remain not an eyesore, but something that's actually improving the values of the neighborhood. So I can go through the rest of this, but um, at this point, I, I haven't been following protocol apparently, so I apologize for that. Um, if there's questions or things that I can do uh, at this time, I, I welcome. Sir, you've given a general overview that you think you comply with the various um, standards of the ordinance, and you argue that there is a need for expansion. I have no idea what you're requesting beyond that. I don't know. What you have now, it's not up to me to review the old uh, record to find out what is it that you propose to amend from the old record. But your presentation should include what you do, what you propose to do, what the hours of operations are, all of the things that are standard in a conditional use, not I comply with condition number one, I comply with requirement number two, I comply with number three. Those are conclusions that are based on facts that are not available to us at this point. We talk about increasing the size of buildings. We need to see some um, specifics about that. 
with exhibits to support what you have now and what you propose. Okay. Uh, I don't know about your staffing. I, I don't know anything. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do here. Well, I, I do have a section uh, that's in this packet that talks about uh, the business proposal. And the business proposal uh, is shown directly after the uh, submission for the uh, zoning applicant form. Um, and on that, I kind of go through uh, the questions exactly what you were just asking, sir. So I apologize for not covering that. I wasn't sure if you had seen that application already that we submitted back on July 27th. We haven't seen anything. I apologize. I, again, I, this is my first time going through this process, so I'm, I'm learning. So I apologize. You're, you're operating a business here of some yes, kind. Um, you're asking for, just based on the numbers, a very dramatic increase to a, an old conditional use. And you've got to make the record. Um, I'm not going to pull it out of you piece by piece. So, uh, can I go through the business proposal? Then would that be acceptable? I, yeah, you could go through whatever you want. You just have to make your case, and you know, uh, it might be well advised to have a zoning attorney uh, give you some counsel because I can't serve that function. Okay, well, maybe it would maybe it would be best if we just reconvene and come back next time, and I'll bring a zoning attorney. Well, that's up to you. I mean, you can make you can go through this any way you want to do it. At this time, I think I'd like to get an attorney to come next time, and we'll meet again. Okay. I don't want to, I mean, some people have come out here to, uh, you know, presumably make a statement or do you, you want to make your comments? Do you want to make your comments tonight or do you want to wait till the petition is concluded? You're only really allowed to speak once. Um, since there's only three of you, I might be a little flexible with that. Um, in other words, the petitioner hasn't really told us much detail. If you say to me, tonight's my night, I'm here, I'm gonna, I object. And then you find out specific facts that you wanna supplement the record, uh, you sort of wasted your opportunity. So my opinion is if it's convenient for you, and I will set the next hearing at a time that's convenient for everybody. That you should wait to find what the case is about before you tell us what your position is. Is that agreeable? Yes. All right. Well, I apologize for the inconvenience. Is, is this uh, satisfactory to the board? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's find a date. Uh, that's okay. October 21 is our next available date. So is that convenient for the audience members? Is that convenient for the petitioner? Yes. Yeah, so 21st at six o'clock in this room. Uh, we'll continue the matter until that uh, time. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Six o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Well, then adjourn for the seat. Well,